In seventh grade, I knew I wanted to be an engineer. I just didn't know how. My dad didn't go to college, neither did my mom. I was the first in my family to even graduate high school. Where I'm from, people don't expect much more from you. It's just easy to get stuck around here. You just think, this is where I grew up, so this is all there is. It's hard to imagine anything else. I knew what I wanted, but every door I tried kept closing on me. It wasn't until I found the Engineering Academy that I started believing in my potential. The Texas A&M Engineering Academy is a partnership between A&M, the university, and the local community college here in Dallas, El Centro. And the way it works is that the students who go to this um, partnership, they're actually co-enrolled. So they're enrolled at the community college and they're enrolled at A&M. So they're technically students at both institutions. And then after one year, if they want to continue for a second year into the program, they can, or we give them the option of moving down to A&M and finishing out their engineering degree there. Lewis was actually already accepted to College Station as a traditional engineering student, but absent the academy, he would not have been able to go. And the reason for that was because it was too expensive, his family wanted him to stay closer to home. So the academy essentially opened up the opportunity for him to still pursue his engineering degree, but stay closer to home. So that way it was a smooth transition for his family to kind of warm up to the idea of like, okay, our big boy is gonna be leaving the house soon. Both of my parents uh, instilled a lot of hard work and dedication into me. Uh, not only seeing what my dad does for a living, he told me from the beginning, he's like, this is not what you wanna be doing for the rest of your life. So you need to find another way to get out of the cycle and further your education. The Engineering Academy breaks the cycle in, in one way, and I think it, it allows the conversation to take place at home, that college, and especially those interested in engineering, that it's attainable and that there's opportunity. Arriving, Green Line, train two. Oh man, uh, first moving in uh, to my dorm on campus, it was kind of, I was filled with excitement, but I was also very scared. I was like, wow, this is a big campus. I'm gonna have to do a lot of walking. <laughs> um, but I was also very excited. Well, I always dreamed of going to A&M, um, knowing about all the great traditions that they have. It always felt like this is the place where I want to be. Also a big decision that went into it was the Aggie ring. It's pretty influential when it comes to meeting people. If you see somebody with that Aggie ring, you know how much hard work and dedication they put into their education. If it wasn't for Kevin, I probably would have never known. I probably would have never experienced what I did experience. I not only saw him as an advisor for the academy, but he was also a very big leader. If we needed anything, he was always there. I was able to get my foot in the door, all because of Kevin. When I look at Lewis today, um, I think he, I don't know, I'm proud of him. Um, I'm very proud of him, I really am. I think when I look at him, I, I see a success story. And personally, when I look at him, I, I'm, I'm never gonna forget the kid. He was part of the first cohort, and he's probably gonna be a friend for a long time. So uh, when, I, when I look at Lewis, I see a, a bright young man.